Nursing and Midwifery Council is a professional body that regulates all the nursing activities in the UK. Welcome back to my channel. I remain your brother, Hugo Austin. Before going further, I would like to use this opportunity to apologize for not being online all this while since September. As you all know, I'm doing my nursing degree. Because of the COVID, the lecturing methods changed, you know, from classroom lecturing into hybrid or blended lecturing method. Lectures are delivered online and also in the classroom. Sometimes we go to the university for our lectures. And when it is not our time to be in the university, we stay at home and connect to university online and do the lectures. We are trying to adjust to the you know, new method of uh, lecturing, you know, just because of this pandemic is hitting UK and Europe and America very, very hard. The pandemic just changed the way we live. So, but right now, we'll be coming online from time to time. I've acclimatized to the method of uh, lecturing. Back to the video for today. We'll be looking at the process of working in the UK as a nurse. If you are a nurse, and you wish to work in the UK, you wish to relocate to UK to come and practice. Here is the process you have to follow. Like I said in my previous video, in the UK, all the professional courses, they do have, you know, a body that regulates their activities. But nursing is not exempted. But for you to work in the UK, for you to leave your home country, come to UK to practice as a medical nurse, you have to register with the UK Nursing and Midwifery Council. The UK Nursing and Midwifery Council is a professional body that regulates all the nursing activities in the UK. They register all the nurses. Every nurse that practice in the UK are registered with the UK Nursing and Midwifery Council. As a nurse trained outside EU and UK, you have three exams to take but out of the three exams two will be taken while you are in your home country so if you are from nigeria two will be taken while you are in nigeria but one of the exam is called computer based test you'll be tested based on your knowledge of nursing to take this part one exam all you need is your laptop or computer and your internet then another exam that you need to take is your english test uh, this english test is of two types number one is called international english language testing system ielts Why? number two is called occupational english test it depends on the one you want to take you don't have to take the two english tests for you to pass this english test you have to have six points or 6.5 that is the benchmark after this english test you cannot apply for your visa and come over to uk and the second part of the exam you will take it when you come over is a practical objective structured clinical examination they will test you based on your clinical experience while coming to uk you are required as well to provide certain documents One of the documents is your health evidence. The UK Nursing and Midwifery Council wants to make sure that people applying to practice in the UK meet their health requirements. And the second part of the document is your character reference and your professional body in your whole country will be the one to provide these documents for you. The essence of this uh, character reference is to make sure that you as a nurse trying to register and practice in the uk you have a good character they want to make sure that you are of good behavior they scrutinize everything that we do they are actually doing this to make sure that they protect the uk patients in summary if you are a nurse and you wish to practice here in the uk there are three exams that you need to take first of all you need to go to the website of uk nursing and midwifery council and register and when you register, you have three exams to take. One of the exams is a computer-based exam. Here, they are testing you based on your knowledge of nursing. 
you also have English test to write. Now, on this English test is of two types. One is called Occupational English Test, OET. And the second one is called International English Testing System, IELTS. For you to pass this English test, the benchmark is six point or 6.5 then after taking this uh, english test you cannot make your way to uk on getting to uk you are now required to take the part two exam the part two exam is a practical objective structured clinical exam they want to test you based on your clinical knowledge after that you have two important documents to provide one your health evidence you need to provide your health evidence. They are doing this to make sure that you as a nurse coming to practice here in the UK, that you are medically fit to practice effectively and safely. The second document that you need to provide is your character reference letter. Here they want to make sure that character wise that you are fit to practice here in the UK effectively. They don't want to bring in a criminal. Okay. I'll be leaving the link below. Please share, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I love you, and I promise to be coming online often. Peace.